Suck, suck, suck my bloody pussy. Lick, lick, lick my bloody pussy. Papa John and Handy. A gel ZZ Diamond. I miss her. Hey, freaks, it's Friday, April 26, 2019. Coming up on the program today, a spiritual healer who is kind of violent. Plus, Nicolas Cage sings Purple Rain angrily, spoken word veganism, and racially offensive electric scooters. All this plus your voicemails today. My doctor wants to dilate my asshole to the size of a fucking coconut. Try new peanut butter eggs. I'm retarded. We have to enter the mad dog equation. Yeah! The Distorted View Show with Tim Henson. All right, Tim and the James Henson back here with you one more time as we end the week with the Friday show, guys. The vegans are at it again. And by at it, I mean, you know, just being annoying and weird. You know, in my 20s, I was friends with a group of people where there were multiple vegetarians or vegans. And I got to tell you. They were a fucking pleasure to be around. They never made me feel like shit for eating meat. It was never an issue, even when we ordered pizza and shit. It just was never a big deal. They had their reasons for not eating meat or being, you know, full-on vegan, and they didn't bother me with it. It was a mixed group, and uh, to this day, I love those people dearly. Now... I also wouldn't have a problem being vegetarian if uh, green shit tasted better. Once again, I blame my parents. They never forced me to eat vegetables. We were really a steak and potatoes type of family, whereas potatoes were the vegetable. Corn on the cob was considered a vegetable, you know what I mean? Not real vegetables. And, uh, you know, if my parents did have broccoli or something, they didn't make me eat it. Or they were smart enough to, like, cover it in cheese or something. So, you know, into my 20s, I was a big baby when it came to vegetables. I'm much better about eating them now, but still, I would prefer just hamburgers. And I don't like tomatoes. I will never like tomatoes. That's how you ruin a goddamn burger. It's all squishy and juice comes out. I'll let it slide in salsa when it's all diced. But the taste of tomatoes alone? No, thank you. I think people who who like tomatoes have been brainwashed as a child somehow to like these things. And I can't get on board with it. Naturally, of course, because he's a goddamn freak, uh, Lord Douche loves vegetables. So now, like, even when I go to Burger King and I get myself a Whopper, I have to get it with everything on it because Lord Douche will pick it off of mine. So I've got to do that annoying thing like a toddler and open up my burger and take out the things I don't like. Ew, pickles. Ew, lettuce. Ew, tomato. You can have all that. Get, and, you know, Whoppers are just disgusting, wet messes. Isn't that the burger they, they put everything on? Like, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. My fingers get all messy because I've got to, like, peel off tomato bits that are, like, glued on to the burger and hand them over to Lord Douche. I really am like a kid, and I don't like this. Take off the stuff you don't want, and Mommy will eat it. I'm okay, actually, with the lettuce. <laughs> took me a long time to get past that and in reality it's just it takes just a lot of time to peel all the lettuce off because it's not like one large leaf it's you know millions of little lettuce lits 
So I could order it without lettuce, but I just say, ah, you know, they'll screw it up anyway. My point is, uh, in theory, I agree with vegetarians like, oh, what we do to cows is horrible. But again, they just taste so goddamn delicious. Meat is murder, and I guess I'm okay with it. Sweet succulent murder. Flame broiled murder. Murder my way. Bada ba 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 mick murder. I could actually see myself giving up hamburgers, though, because I tried uh, the Beyond Burger or maybe the Impossible Burger. I can't remember which one it was, but it was really good. Good enough that it would, you know, satiate my need for ground beef. And uh, so, yeah, I'm all on board with this uh, Beyond Burger and Impossible Burger thing. For those of you who have never seen it, it's it looks just like a burger. It's made out of plants and I don't know what I don't know what it's made out of. Tree bark, clay, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it comes from nature, and it, it actually, they say it bleeds. The burger that bleeds. Just like real meat, but it's like, you know, plant juice or something. But, you know, you don't taste that. Uh, it, it really does taste great, and Burger King is starting to offer the Impossible Whopper at, like, a few St. Louis locations, but they're going to ex- uh, expand nationwide if it sells well, and I urge you all to, uh, to, to try it at least. I don't think I could ever go full vegan or full vegetarian because I don't want to give those assholes the satisfaction. These people tend to, like, uh, get on their high horse. They got to let you know what you're eating is bad and wrong. I've got a YouTube song here from a bunch of vegans. This is called Gotta Let You Know That I'm Vegan. This is pretty much their anthem, (laughs) their way of life. We've got three or oh, four vegans here, two girls, two guys standing outside. You know I'm vegan with my shirt, with my car For the animals, I gotta be a vegan rock star Spread the word, make vegan banners Make a veg fest with my fellow planners Vegan stickers on my devices Be an activist, that's what my advice is Guys, never mind what I just said about the Beyond Burger This song has me craving for the real thing I just want to slaughter a little baby calf In like a super painful way Like I want to gouge its eyes out first Can't see where it's going, so it's just gonna wander around into, like, traffic or something. And I want a car to hit it, break a couple of its legs so it's barely stumbling around. And I want it to walk right into a fire. Mmm, flame broiled. I don't know how much of this song you want to hear, but it gets worse. Green V ripping on my truck for the animals. I am vegan as fuck. I wear a vegan hat to the gym. Don't need meat to be strong. Look at him. Animal rights sticker on my guitar For the animals, I gotta be a vegan rock star Like, we get it! Everything they own is adorned with animal rights stickers or embroidery or silk screening or something. All right, I might have something that's actually worse than this song from another vegan. This is a spoken word piece. Oh, is this like beat poetry? Hey, world, one world. Can we stop eating animals, world? Yeah, we used metal straws instead of plastic straws for the turtles, but you saw that the turtles still survive. So let's stop eating animals in this world. One world, we are the world, said the animals here. We're the world, we're the world, where God started the world. The animals started the world with God. So let's stop eating the animals. Animals. This goes on for five minutes. Talk about a test of patience. I should have started the show with this. With you and me. And yes, I am an animal, but I am a mammal with a voice to speak. Who speaks for the chickens, for the dogs, for the cats, for the cows? We milk and we milk and we milk and they say, ow! <laughs> That's my mother. So profound. Again, this, uh piece is five minutes long we're not even a minute through it do you think she pulls a hairdresser 
Remember that song from Stairway to Stardom, Hairdresser? Hairdresser! Hairdresser! Whoa! Hairdresser! Hairdresser! And like, halfway through the song, everything completely changes. It's like a completely different composition. I, 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 I gotta play just a few seconds of this, just to refresh your memory. Hairdresser! Hairdresser! Whoa! Hairdresser! hairdresser. Boy, I am putting you guys through a lot today. Oh, oh, hairdresser! One awful song hairdresser. after another. So this is the beginning. Hairdresser, could you set me up? Take me to make me into something new. Cause I am so blue. It's a whole song about her going to the hairdresser, right? Also, inexplicably, she's wearing like a black trash bag as an outfit. The early 80s had some cracked out fashion. Primarily due to crack cocaine, I think. Halfway through the song, though, this happens. She said up, what it is, what it is, what it is. She said up, what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. It's like her first time hearing this song. Tease Louise, tease Louise, all the guys call it tease Louise. Without her hair, without her face, she just stayed Tease Louise. What happened to hairdresser? Tease Louise, I you know she's not out to please. How can a model drink beer from a bottle? <laughs> I remember that part. She brings it home at the very end. It returns to like hairdresser, hairdresser, right? But that lasts way too long. It's like a minute of hairdresser, hairdresser, and she runs out of steam. Oh, hairdresser, 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 oh, oh. whoa, whoa. <laughs> mm-hmm. hairdresser. She's humming it now. Hairdresser. Yeah. Hairdresser. Trying to make it sound a little unique. Hairdresser. Hairdresser, hairdresser, oh, oh, hairdresser. It's like, fade it out, fade it out. Hairdresser, hairdresser, hairdresser. All right, just a little walk down memory lane. Let's get back to the spoken word piece. I'm going to fast forward to the three minute mark. This. Does this rib taste good? Does this rib taste good? The woman has lost her mind. What about the feet? We eat the chicken feet. And not just the Dominican Republican. We eat the chicken feet in the U.S. This is some racist bullshit right there. Throwing the Dominicans under the bus. That's not how you talk! <laughs> you to stop eating the animals so that they can survive. While I'm alive, I want to see the animals thrive. How does this have 24,000 thumbs up and only 6,000 thumbs down? <sighs> this is really taking it out of her. Although one of the first comments is, whenever I think I'm a mess, I turn to this channel and realize that I'm doing more than okay. Hey, speaking of bad music and people not doing okay, you may have heard that Nicolas Cage recently got married in Vegas. Turns out uh, it was all a big drunken mistake. This is like an episode of Friends. He uh, wed makeup artist Erica Koik. According to a Nolman documents filed by Cage, the couple were both drinking to the point of intoxication before participating in a wedding ceremony on Saturday, March 23rd. Due to his intoxication, Cage says he lacked understanding of his actions and reacted on impulse without the ability to recognize or understand the full impact of his actions. What's great is this makeup artist turned around and is now seeking spousal support. They were married for hours. That kind of leads me to believe that this woman was probably getting Nicolas Cage drunk. He's probably blitzed out of his mind, and she's like, I want to fuck you. But I'm waiting for marriage. And you know how that all ended up. She argues their marriage doesn't qualify for an annulment, be- uh, but agrees to a divorce. The makeup artist claims she misses out on job opportunities due to her relationship with the actor, and that her reputation has suffered. 
Why does everyone think I'm a gold digger? Nicholas isn't doing so well. He was drunk in Vegas again, and uh, he was performing some karaoke. A very angry rendition of Purple Rain. It's time we all reach out for something new. That means you too. That's, uh, that's Nicholas right there. It's time we all reach out for something new. That means you too. Yeah. Woo. You say you want a leader. But you can't even make up your mind. <laughs> I think you better close him. And let me guide you. But you the purple ring. Purple ring. Purple ring. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woo! I think I'd rather listen to the vegans. Purple ring. Oh, there was a little cut there. <laughs> There's another words. <laughs> Poor Nick Cage. He's having a tough time. That clip did not last long enough. Hey, real quick, before we get into the news, I've got one more clip for you today. This was uh, submitted by Chica Pearls. This is great. So uh, this woman who calls herself Cassandra Rain. She is a medical intuitive... A psychic and a family and spiritual healing expert, at least according to her Facebook profile. This is some hippy-dippy new age shit, right? And you'd think when you hear that, oh, this person is a healer, a psychic, she's intuitive. You've got this image in your head of uh, what she may look like or sound like, like very soft-spoken. Now what I'm going to do is place some stones on your back. They're crystals. They're powerful. That's not this woman. This woman is straight up insane. She got served some papers because she recently trespassed onto school property. I don't know if she has a kid that goes to the school, but she wasn't following proper protocol. I'm suing the fucking elementary school. I'm suing Roseau County School. I'm fucking shutting that whole entire fucking school. Amy McGuire, principal, Roseau Elementary School. Guess what, Amy? You're never going to be able to work in elementary ever again when I'm fucking done with you. Fucking want to say that you're a principal to fucking kids? She's punching her steering wheel or something. She's in her car just destroying it. Fucking broke my bracelet. That's how fucking angry I am. You want to fucking lie, Miss McGuire? Tell you! She's got drool and spit from when, where she's screaming fucking all over her what? mouth. My immediate thought was, oh, uh, you know, something, a misunderstanding happened. She's taking it very badly. But I, I looked at her Facebook profile and uh, she's, I think she's insane. All of her videos are just her freaking out. I think she killed a coyote in an animal sacrifice for some of her witchcraft or something. Let's look at this. Fucking no trespassing order. Why don't I? Okay. She just wiped the drool off her mouth. Not checking in at elementary office of noticing us of your visits in advance. That wasn't the fucking agreement. Now was it? <laughs> you fucking cunt bitch. Motherfucking psychopathic principal. I'm thinking there are special rules for her because maybe she's not allowed around her kids or something. <laughs> she sounds like she's a little unhinged. Was it the agreement? No, because I didn't make the agreement with you, you fucking bitch. I didn't make the fucking agreement with you when I called the fucking school. When I got the okay, they fucking told me all you have to do is come to the office and sign in. And guess what, you fucking bitch? I fucking signed in every fucking time. You want to know why? Because I am not retarded enough not to. Because of Ren. <laughs> she's, she's not retarded. By the way, she's got appointments available on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2.30 for psychic and healing consultations. Actually, there's a whole menu here. I didn't even think... I, this is on her Facebook page. I didn't know you could do this, but you could set up appointments for customer service and quality job coaching. Qu 
Quality Assurance Consulting, Christ Enlightenment Birthing, whatever the hell that is, Sacred Messages from Your Sacred Text, and Sacred Soul Essence Class. You fucking psycho <laughs> bitch! <laughs> you know what? I think I would pay her for an appointment. Fuck you! Now fuck you! Fuck Those you! Those are my children! That you lost custody of, obviously. Not remaining in lunchroom commons or the space in the office. Yeah, I bet you she went a little rogue there. Oh, excuse me, you fucking douchebag bitch! Fucking busted again! Aren't you? Aren't you, you fucking bitch? That wasn't agreed upon in certain places at all! At all! She then went out with her kid, like outside with her kid, which I guess was a big no-no, because, you know, she might run away with it. She's obviously not allowed to um, take her children anywhere. Idiot! Fucking school! All right, I think we're and then calming down now. And and publicly posting videos while in the building and on school. Oh, parks. yeah, I don't think you're allowed to do that. You're, I don't think you can take video of, like, children in school and post it. Here's another fucking lesson for you, fucking bitch. <laughs> Apparently I'm wrong. Here's another fucking lesson. School me, honey. Nobody there talk to me about fucking posting videos, publicly or not publicly, ever! I think she's working herself back up again. <laughs> So guess what? Yeah. Fucking Roseau County fucking school! Reiki classes are available. I'm coming oh. for your fucking ass! I'm suing the fucking shit out of fucking you! She talks like a WWE wrestler. I'm coming for the public school district, brother! By the way, that video appeared, what, yesterday? There, she posts every hour, but okay, so that was yesterday. Today, it looks like three hours ago, <laughs> she got in the mail, filed in district court, a restraining order. <laughs> Uh, Amy Danielle McGuire is a petitioner versus Cassandra Maxwell. There are reasonable grounds to believe that the respondent has harassed the petitioner, made threats, frightened her. Apparently, school staff saw that freak out on video. Let me check. I just want to go on Facebook and see what some of her more recent video, like other videos are. If they're just as crazy or if that was just a one time thing, we caught her in a bad mood. Hey, Ren. Got something for you. I don't know who Ren is. This is a video directed at someone named Ren. Got something for you. Wombat one to wombat two, chick check. Wombat one to wombat two, chick check. Is that like a term of affection or something? Wombat one to wombat two, chick check. Aw. She's wombat one. Ren is wombat two. God, that was a big fuck you douchebag. I was wrong. Haha, I win. Duh. I'm with creator. And no one fucking loves God. You fool. Yeah. Okay, so she's just nuts. Like, mentally ill, and I probably shouldn't be making fun of her. But, I mean, now that I started, I might as well just Coming for your finish this ass. video here. I'm suing the fucking shit out of fucking you! All right, uh, let me fast forward. Any last words? You guys deserve to have your fucking ass beat. Reyna, here- Hey, Reyna, she's Wombat too. Fucking deal, you fucking piece of shit. Get oh, the yeah. fuck off of my fucking Facebook. Unless you want to pay me for a consultation on the healing art of crystals. I am psycho about nope, the No, that's it. Protection. Stop. You could just, you could have just ended that sentence after the first two or three words. I am psycho. Well, that's the first thing you've said that actually made sense in this video. All right, so thank you very much, Chica Pearls, for that. Uh, if you want to look up Cassandra Rain, she's on Facebook. Just look for the profile with a wall of incoherent text on it. That's her. Uh, and with that, let's get into the crazy, bizarre twist of the fuck up news right now. If you like Distorted View Daily, please consider supporting it. We have a member site over there at superfreaksideshow.com. When you sign up, you get full access to the entire archive of shows, well over 3,000 shows. Plus, every week we do exclusive programs. Yesterday I did an exclusive podcast. Uh, Tuesday was another exclusive show. So we do tons of those every month for the low, low price of only $6.99, even less when you opt for a quarterly, semi-annual, yearly, or lifetime membership. All major credit cards and PayPal accepted. 
I started the Sideshow back in, what, 2006? So there's tons of stuff uh, to find that, that, that Sideshow exclusive. We used to do DV logs. Corey used to do a show called Butt Fudge Sunday. So there's, there's tons to uh, discover. Again, go to superfreaksideshow.com. You can use uh, the special RSS feed with your username and password. It works with most podcast apps, so you can uh, just get all of the, the free shows and all the exclusive shows in one feed there, which is kind of cool. Again, check it out, superfreaksideshow.com. Other ways to support the show. We've got a Patreon account. Maybe you're more comfortable using Patreon. Patreon.com slash Distorted View. You can pledge as little as a dollar to help me out. Occasionally, I'll post uh, you know, Patreon-exclusive videos. I uh, started a new little uh, podcast all about me. As a matter of fact, I got a great email from Andrew, or Drew, from Texas. He says, uh, the new Patreon audio show is the best damn thing I've ever done. Again, I mentioned this yesterday, but that's I like that you, you love the show, but uh, I've kind of... I've kind of been working on this distorted view thing for a long time, so I don't know how I feel about this one podcast being the best thing I've ever done. But okay, Uh, I'll never cancel my $5 a month Patreon sub if you continue to do those audio shows. Well, I plan to do at least one, maybe two a month. I just sort of talk about myself and my life and blah, blah, blah. If you have any uh, topics you want me to discuss, I'd be more than happy to over there. Uh, So again, check it out. Patreon.com slash distorted view. You can always tell the months where I'm really hurting for cash because the plugs for the sideshow and the Patreon go on a little bit longer than normal. All right, three very quick stories now. First up, if you live in a city, I'm sure you've seen those lime scooters lying around the sidewalk. You may have even used one before. If uh, you don't live in the city, I'm sure you've heard of these things. These scooters are taking over. They're cluttering, you know, the the sidewalks. Well, uh, Lime Scooters have been making suggestive and offensive comments to riders. How and why, you ask? Well, pranksters have swapped audio files on some of the scooters. The scooters were hacked to make a variety of comments, most of which were sexual in nature. At least eight scooters had files swapped in the cyber attack. This is in um, Brisbane, Australia. But I think it's happening all over because I did a quick search on YouTube for, uh, you know, hacked audio Lime Scooter and found this one. Someone hacked the Lime Scooter uh, alarm audio. Hey, hey, what you do to me? Why you move me? Hey, hey, put me down. No, wait, leave me alone. No, <laughs> hey, listen. No, you put me down right now. You don't pay the dollar to take me away. Hey, hey. Seriously, I can't support my family if you don't know pay the dollar for the... Obviously, there's supposed to be an alarm sound if you take a scooter without, you know, paying for it or being authorized to take it. The scooter. Put me down, please. I beg of you. <laughs> hey, you put me down. I love you long time. Oh, my God. I'll tell you, okay. I'll tell you, okay. I'll call the police on you. You go to jail, sir. I'll call the police on you right now. Okay, hang it's on. a very, very long audio file. <laughs> Oh, you've done it now, big boy. Police emergency, this is Simone. Hello, yes, someone take me. I don't know where I'm going. Please come. Your address. My address? I don't know where my address is. You get the idea there. So that's if you uh, take a Lime scooter without paying for it. Now, if you um, go ahead and use your phone and scan and, you know, you get the appropriate authorization to use the scooter, this is what plays. Okay, let's do this. Okay, but if you're going to ride my ass, then please pull my hair, okay? (laughs) No. It's the same voice. Uh, by the way, this is from Australia. For the record, Lime is aware of the issue. They said the prank was not funny. I kind of disagree. And that it was working to return the hack scooters to their normal state. Videos on YouTube uploaded by riders who had received the hack messages revealed that the scooters had been altered. The Channel 7 TV news station in Brisbane captured and posted footage of an entire row of hacked e-scooters playing the message. One message had the scooter saying, Don't take me around because I don't like to be ridden! You know, in that kind of horrible Chinese accent. Ding dong, ching chong. Another played when riders entered a, uh, ent- ended a journey on a scooter, at which point the speaker on the gadget said, No, where you go? Lime spokesperson Nelson Savan said that the prank was the work of vandals, and it was checking its entire fleet to see how many had been tampered with. Apparently it's easy to do. It's not smart, it's not funny, and it's akin to changing a ringtone, he said. It's disappointing that someone has taken this opportunity to poke fun at members of the community in a hurtful way. Lime scooters are uh, currently on trial in the city. 
City Council is considering whether to grant the transportation from a license to operate permanently. Eight other companies have submitted applications to run rentable electric scooters in the city. Only two licenses are available. The hack came in the same month that Lime had to issue a software update to many scooters around the world to fix a glitch that led to some riders being injured. (laughs) Just come to a screeching halt. Throw some old lady clear off the scooter. Uh, yeah. Oh, it led to some riders being injured. The problem meant that the scooters would suddenly slam on their brakes when riders were going at full speed down a hill. Good Christ. Death machines. All right. Uh, second story we have for you today. From a bad Chinese accent to a real Chinese person. Well, this is at least a little less offensive than the fake Chinese man on Lime scooters. Oh, yeah, get off me! It's hot! (laughs) Scooters have two wheels. Very difficult to say wheels. All right, what are we talking about here? Uh, Chinese runner Wu Zhangdong was forced to battle more than just his fellow competitors at the Shanghai Half Marathon this past weekend as he faced a particularly... A untimely bout of diarrhea. You know, that's funny because whenever I play that Chinese uh, music, I always almost accidentally uh, play the next audio file with the word Chinese in it. Uh, years ago, Cheryl Murkowski had uh, some bad Chinese food and sent along her shit. She recorded it and labeled it Chinese Waterfall. And it's uh, appropriate for this story. There she goes. Number two. Spicy. So good. Oh, not so good. Number two. Good God. Cheryl Murkowski. She's a lady. My sugary wound. Yeah, that's how she refers to her pussy. My clit is hard. You're a horny little bitch, aren't you? Oh, racy. Okay. Woo! Woo! Was hit with an attack of the runs uh, around the 14 kilometer, kilo, kilometer, kilometer, whatever, mark of the 21 kilometer race, forcing an uncontrollable and somewhat smelly end to the race as he reportedly relieved himself while on the go. Now, I'm looking at this guy here. He's got the very, very, very short shorts on. Which means the shit really has nowhere to go except down his legs. I will say this, the the shorts are very tight. So maybe they formed a seal and the shit was just sloshing and squishing in his pants. And embarrassed Wu said afterwards, even I can't stand the smell. I kept running and I didn't stop to go to the toilet because there weren't any. And I wanted, mm, China has a public restroom problem. Alright, I kept running and I didn't stop to go to the toilet because there weren't any, and I wanted to beat the African runner racist at the finish. I was really relieved when I crossed the finish line. Mm, I think you relieved yourself well before the finish line. It seemed I had more power after I excreted everything during the race. I definitely would have run faster if I didn't have this episode. Wu said the unfortunate incident was possibly down to wet clothing he was wearing. What clothes does not give you diarrhea like that? Or it was because I only had a piece of bread and drank mineral water out of a tire on the side of the road or something? I don't think it was because of what I ate. It was a mighty relief to have had the toilet in the... Oh, to have had the toilet in the end. I don't want to remember this race. While Wu defied his diarrhea to end his nation's fastest finisher, the overall men's race was won by Ethiopia's Antonihu Dagnachow Yisma. In one hour, two minutes, and 32 seconds. But the Chinese runner's unfortunate episode was largely what made the news with some headlines reading, The Runner with Runs. Ting! Final story we have for you today. Ah, the last story of the week. And it just happens to come from our most fucked up state. Say it with me. Florida. I'm a fucked up state! A uh, Fort Walton Beach area man who admitted to smoking meth earlier in the day attacked a mattress, like a bed mattress. 
Why? Because he believed a man was hiding inside of it. County Sheriff Office deputies were called to the home on Willow Bend at around 1.10 Friday morning after the man's girlfriend, who he had refused to let leave the bedroom, was able to escape and call for assistance. Philippe Aquando, who is 37, was charged with false imprisonment and possession of drug paraphernalia, according to a press release. His girlfriend told deputies Aquando began acting erratically after he smoked the meth, of course, thinking she was cheating on him with a mattress uh, with a man. Oh, the man was in the mattress. She was cheating on him with a man in the mattress. He stabbed the mattress with a bedpost and then ripped it apart with his hands. Got that meth strength. Then he locked the bedroom door and would not allow his girlfriend to leave. I think he was just embarrassed. That he was wrong about the man in the mattress. All right, so he locked the bedroom door, would not allow his girlfriend to leave while he was moving the mattress around, you know, looking under it, trying to desperately find this guy. Uh, she was able to unlock the door and flee. Aquando said uh, he was fighting the man in the mattress. He was under the impression that he uh, found the guy and was able to tackle him. He said he held him down. Then the police arrived, and uh, the, then the, the, the man, the mattress man, slipped out and left. He admitted he had been smoking methamphetamine. In case you can't understand what they're saying, it's meth for breakfast. It's the song Meth for Breakfast by Douchebag Explosion. I don't know what they're saying here. It doesn't matter. That, my friends, is your distorted news for Friday. Let's do a couple voicemails and get the hell out of here. It's a shame most douchebag explosion songs sound like that, you know, where you can't understand what they're singing because the lead singer has just a beautiful voice. There is one song where they uh, really show off their uh, talents, and that, of course, is Ass to Mouth, my favorite douchebag explosion song. Ass to Mouth! <laughs> We've played that many times on this show. All right. Uh, there are many ways to contact the program. You can always email me, show at distortedview.com. Uh, voicemail line for you. I'd love to hear from you, freaks. Call in 206-666-4463. I'm all over social media, uh, at Distorted View on Twitter and Instagram, Facebook.com slash Distorted View Show, and, of course, YouTube.com slash Distorted View Show. Like I mentioned in the middle of the program, uh, if you pledge a few bucks over there uh, on our Patreon account, you get access to a special voicemail line. And I've got a couple patrons calling in today. Tim. Yo. Hey. Hello. What you doing? This uh, is Brad. Guys, checking in with oh. you. Brief note, just wanted to say I really like the uh, the unnamed Patreon podcast. That oh, thank you. Uh, it's good stuff, man. I... I I'm with that other caller. That hearing more about you personal, it's fascinating. And, uh, I feel it, like I have. It's, fu it's funny that people want to hear about it because I live, I lead such a boring a life. Very fucked hearted relationship with you after listening for. Yeah. Uh, well, since to tell me shit, but yeah. This, this, I think there is probably a, a certain percentage of people that are kind of interested. They're like, you know, they've been listening to me for a long time, so they want to hear me talk about different aspects of my life. But then I think the majority of people just want to hear the the reason why they've come to the show, and that is the weird, disgusting uh, porn and weird news stories and stuff like that. This is so a whole other side of you. If you do want to hear a little bit more about me, side of him. Patreon thing. Uh, and I know you like that reference, too. All right, boo, you keep up the good work. I'm well, gonna... thank you very much for the kind words there. Jimmy Boo, Sideshow member DJC again. Uh, just calling in and let you know, yeah, that's what she had. It was a butterfly. The wings were out on her thigh area, like, came off of the... Oh, yeah, this guy called in yesterday to talk about, uh, you know, I, we played audio of a woman getting uh, an anal tattoo, like, right on her butthole, and apparently it's very, very painful. This guy had a girlfriend who had a butterfly tattooed on her pussy lips. The lips were like the meaty, the round part of the butterfly, and she had two antennas coming up, like... Mm, I guess where the uh, Bermuda Triangle would be there, whatever you want to call it. Oh, okay, I see, the, yes. Uh, the, the, you know, the pussy hairs, and she was shaved. It was it was awesome. It was cool looking. I like and, that, uh, huh? And you asked yesterday. 
if it hurt, I she downplayed it. She said, "No, it wasn't that bad." I was huh. like, "That had to hurt like a motherfucker." Like I could, I, I don't know. I don't have a problem. Well, you heard it here. If you are going to, you know, if you're deciding between getting your pussy lips tattooed and your asshole tattooed, go with pussy lips. Apparently it hurts less. I think this guy's uh, phone connection just crapped out. Uh, Oh, oh, he's back. He's back. That's what I'd be doing because shit, that shit hurts. Yeah, that woman that we featured on the show was (laughs) screaming the N word over and over. (laughs) <laughs> the, the, the tattoo parlor had to like turn on the radio Dude, to drown her out. Pumpkin fucker calling. Hey, on the show you were talking about your shower setup where people out in the streets could see you. Oh yeah, rubbing your balls in there. I know you said your windows frosted, but I should I should show <laughs> I should do video and show you what I'm talking about. Go to Lowe's or a home improvement store and go in the aisle that has like shelf liner and stuff for windows. They have like frosted. The, sticky stuff that you could put on a window. Yeah, it's frosted, but you can still the way the the lighting is set up in the in the bathroom. It really it, you can see the outline of the person taking they a shower. Cut it to fit and stick it right on. But there's also designed ones, um, maybe with some color in it or something. I know, so maybe but you then cut something like that out, and put it over your window. Th- those always look so bad, though. I, you know, maybe I am going to try to do a little video or take pictures or something so you can see. <laughs> What I'm talking about, how ridiculous that setup is. Uh, hi, Mr. Henson. Hello. There's, there's, there's a strange th- th- thing that's been, been happening over about, about, about the past month. And I'm, 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 I'm not Ass to mouth. To talk, talk, talk about it with. Okay, go ahead, talk. When, when I've been walking down the street... Sounds like one of those crazy people I feature. <laughs> you tards. I've, I've been... Who's harassing you? Anytime I'm within about, about 10 feet or so of dog feces and any kind of poop, it's like it jumps right up my pant leg and goes right up my butt. I, I, I don't know what to do about this. It's, it's kind of a power... Well, you take your hand and you uh, stick your your hand in your butthole and you scoop it out. You don't want scoop- dog shit in your crawling up your butthole. You can call me the unpooper. Okay. Well, what what should I do about this? Well, I just told you. Thanks. And also Thanks. take take pictures and video of you sticking your finger up your butt and scooping out your poop. Not your poop. I'm sorry. The rogue dog shit that it crawls its way up there. Why am I even entertaining this guy? The stupidest fucking call. All right, that is all the time. What a way to end the week. That's all the time we have on this edition of the show. Why don't you guys email me? Show at distortedview.com. Distortedview.com is our official website. Voicemail line for you. 206-666-4463. That's 206-666. Oh, God, is it? Oh, God. I am psycho. Yeah. Spread the distortion. STD. Tell all your friends about the podcast. Don't forget to rate us and review us on iTunes. Guys, thank you so much for a great week of programs. I could not do it without you. I will be back on Monday to do it. All over again. Until then, bye, everybody. Oh, baby.